welcome back everybody um, last video uh, I'm not quite clear about uh, the uh, instruction how to center the object within the work area let's uh, go back and review that one more time if you look at this uh, multi view drawing is is given the, the information here is given with uh, uh, the width and the height and the depth and we want to center within the work area to center within the work area first thing you want to do is to center the work area at this location to center this work area you're going to have to divide this length by half and divide the width by half and to establish this uh, center point once you uh, once the center point is established you're going to have to make make another point that is going north going north at uh, one half of the height so north one half of the height what about the height here you just have to divide that by half that's the height one half of the height going north and then going from this point once you establish that point and then you're gonna go to southwest south 60 degree west south 60 degree west going this direction at uh, one half of your depth so one half of this depth and then you're gonna continue on and uh, establish this point once that point established you're gonna go to south 60 degrees east south 60 degree east going that direction and this distance here is one half the width one half the width this distance to establish this starting point so once that st the starting point is established now you can begin to uh, draw the uh, basic shape of the object so you draw the basic shape uh, from the starting point and th and this is your center of the work area and you're going to start with uh, the width the um, the height and the depth of the basic shape with the basic shape and then you're going to try for all this distance all these distances and then to uh, create all this point and then you would just connect all this point and then erase the, the uh, basic shape line and that will be the completed the is isometric view good okay now we're going to go back to uh, where we left off last video and uh, last video we left off here uh, to how to use the uh, the circle or the art template so uh, isometric we have uh, this is specifically talking about the irregular shape are drawn by dividing them into a ser series of convenient section or a layout grid. use a template for circle or the art so we're going to concentrate on how we're going to use the template or how we use the circle template. So for this example here, we have a irregularly shaped object. Uh, first thing we want to do is to divide this into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal spaces. So seven equal spaces, and you're gonna label them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then from here you're gonna transfer. You're going to draw this uh, center line as you normally done from the last lecture. And once you establish this line, and then you're going to draw this line perpendicular to the uh, this axis here. So you have three axes. So this is going to be your one axis. And you have uh, two axes and three axes. So this is going to be your Y, X, and Z. So now you're going to transfer all this uh, point, all this point, transfer all this point from here, the distance here, transfer to the distance here, same thing, all this point. For this C, you have uh, one point, and then two point three point and four point do the same thing 
to establish on this point and then you would just connect them and uh, and to finish up your isometric view this is just a good uh, example I don't think you can have to do it just to show you how we can uh, transfer the multi view drawing into isometric drawing transfer the transfer and draw irregularly shaded object by dividing the object into a series of convenient section draw each section as an isometric divide the object into a series of section A through H use the logical baseline in this case a center line connect all the section and complete the boat so this is the principle that you can come up with the boat and um, okay let's jump onto the isometric uh, circle and the arc drawing Isometric circle and art without using template. In without template, it's going to take so much time and so much effort to complete just one circle. With that, with this uh, circle, I think you have that uh, circle template or the el ellipse uh, template uh, come with a graphic kit. So you would use that to draw the circle or the arc. So to draw the <clears throat> ellipse within the basic shape so first thing you can have to establish is your basic shape of the circle and you have your center line basic shape and then you would draw your center line at the basic shape as you know this center line is going to be halfway between this length and the width and if this is a, a circle you would draw a equal equal length and the width and then this is going to be your axis so to draw the first uh, circle and you would uh, see a circle from a regular circle when you draw that regular circle onto the isometric drawing and this circle is going to turn into ellipse so now that you have this basic shape of the circle with this center axis and now you're going to create this hash line <clears throat> so you're going to create one two hash line so once you create that you can use your the ellipse template line up with the hash line or this hash line you can line up with line up with the template see this all this hash line here you can line that up and put it right here and draw that uh, ellipse onto this uh, basic shape of the circle so once you finish you can just erase all this the, the shape of the circle and that will be the final product of the um, circle but again a regular circle when you draw them onto the isometric will turn into the ellipse by using your ellipse template so this is another way of uh, drawing the isometric ellipse template for isometric drawing so given this uh, circle with one inch given that one inch uh, diameter circle and first thing you want to do is to draw the basic shape this is your basic shape with your height depth and the width and then draw your center line and then <clears throat> and then once you establish this basic shape and then with a center line there and now you're going to transfer you can use one of this temp your template your ellipse templates and line up with your hash line so this is your hash line hash line hash line hash line line them up and then you would just draw that ellipse onto this basic shape again if you have uh, more than few plane to finish up see it will be a lot quicker just to use the template and draw them all so you would just draw the center line draw the hash line once you establish all this hash line line up with the correct uh, circle template or ellipse template and then you would just draw it same thing apply to that same thing apply to uh, the top view 
how to draw a true isometric circle. So a true isometric circle versus approximate isometric circle. Let's go through the how to draw a true isometric circle first. So the true isometric circle, and uh, you will do the same thing. A regular circle means a regular. Is even though it's a regular circle, but then when you transfer that regular circle into isometric circle, it's going to turn into ellipse. So first thing you will do is to come up with a basic shape, tangent to point 3, 6, 9, and 12. 3, 6, 9, and 12. And then you would uh, draw a circle there. And then once you have a circle, you're going to establish this tangent point. Once you have the tangent point, same thing. The tangent point is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Once all these points are established, now you can transfer the distance x here. So the distance x here transfer onto your isometric circle. So distance x to the same distance here, distance here, same distance here, and the rectangular, same size, whatever the distance here, yy transfer the distance onto here yy and then once you finish the vertical rectangular and your horizontal rectangular now you can just use a circle template and fill that uh, ellipse and that will be the completed isometric circle now how do you draw the circle isometric circle approximately so to draw that approximately this the same kind of idea but uh, this time, we're going to start with the basic shape. And then we're going to establish four tangent points. You're going to draw the center line first. Establish four tangent points. Once you finish the, once you have that four point, you're going to draw four lines 90 degrees from each of the four tangent points. So you're going to draw four lines 90 degrees from each of the four tangent points. So you have uh, this tangent point, you're going to draw 90 degrees. <clears throat> so 1, 2, 3, 4, 90 degrees to that, 90 degrees to that. Did you see that? So you have this point, you're going to go all the way here to here. So you're going to do the same thing, 90 degrees to that. 92 degrees to that, perpendicular to that, and now you establish this two point. This will be your swing point. So your swing point. So once you establish 90 degree, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Now you have one point here and one point there. Draw a check line. So your check line is going to go through these two intersection point. Go through one intersection point, the center point of the. Uh, of that basic shape and then you're going to make another intersection point draw this line straight through and this will be your check line and then once you establish these two swing points so these are your two swing point point a and point b with that uh, with the radius whatever the radius the, they want you to draw you're going to swing one arc there swing another arc there and then you do the same thing. You're going to use this different swing point now. You're going to use this swing point, C and D, because you already established four swing points. You have this swing point A, B, C, and D. Now you're going to swing from C point with this radius, fit in from this corner to that corner. Same thing, this radius should be the same radius as that radius. From this swing point, swing another arc to fill that. Uh, arc. So once you finish, lightly erase this construction line and this is your completed uh, isometric circle. So you're going to do the same thing to this kind of situation but then for this kind of uh, uh, object here, you only have to finish half the circle, not the complete circle. So this is simply half of it using the same method to complete that uh, half circle. Same thing applied to this situation, 
and if you want to use the offset method this offset method which is the from here from here you follow the same offset method from the last uh, last lecture there and then do the same thing to complete that isometric arc same thing to here this is the one that when you do when you deal with a approximate isometric circle to do this semi circle this arc you do the same thing you establish the same swing point like the way we did it here once you establish those swing point swing that arc and then complete that uh, arc with your compass so now this is the uh, we're going to now we're going to have to show you how to draw the ellipse on an inclined plane and given two view and given this top view and the side view now we want to finish up the, the isometric ellipse on an inclined plane so from this given the circle given this inclined face inclined surface cylinder and given this x distance given this y distance now you want to create an isometric ellipse here to do that first thing you want to do is to you're going to have to draw the base circle this base circle how would you draw this base circle use the same method that we done uh, from the last uh, two lectures ago draw this rectangular one rectangular two rectangular to establish all this tangent point once you have this tangent point you would just draw a circle there with your circle template it would make your life a little bit easier and then you do the same thing now to transfer this distance here onto your isometric ellipse is whatever the distance here xx transfer them onto here xx yy is yy and all this distance here 4 4 this is your 4 you're going up to establish that point and then your distance 3 3 is going to be this distance here 9 also from 9 same distance 2 and 10 is going to be 2 from this point 2 and then 10 from here you measure distance and establish all this point here and once you have this point established you can use the either use the irregular curve to smooth that out or you can use the ellipse if the ellipse would uh, fit into this uh, this point that you just established so the ice to talk about the isometric round and fillet rounds and fillet in isometric drawings can be shown three ways you can show way number a b or c this is your round out and your fillet and this is your round you can show it this way which is this is to show the round and fill it in isometric drawing so all you can show it this method so either show this way or that way they're both acceptable to for the, the isometric dimensioning is the same rules and policy and regulation that we learned uh, last lecture and the dimension is basically for the isometric uh, dimensioning you would uh, use the unidirectional dimension unidirectional dimension is to look at one direction everything is facing down you're looking at this direction you're going to see all this dimension facing this direction going down and this is the best way to make that uh, isometric uh, dimension so for the isometric intersection and isometric drawing can be constructed from a completed multi-view drawing showing an intersection first construct a basic shape box and then transfer a sufficient number of points from the multi-view drawings using the offset method to complete the isometric drawing so that would be the isometric the intersection you can use the intersection method to complete your isometric uh, drawing for example this is also one of the intersection point you can do find out all this intersection point to establish the point and then complete your isometric drawing for the um, isometric 
uh, screw, thread, and sphere. It's the same way we did it. And uh, this is your finished product of the uh, rule. And this is the first thing you would do is to uh, finish up your chamfer and find out the locate that rule. And then uh, and this is to uh, this is the finished product of the isometric rule. Same thing to the thread. Thread uh, depend what the distance equal to the pitch of the thread and the diameter. Same thing. The way you do the the circle is the same way that we did it uh, using the same idea. So the for this sphere, isometric sphere, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, because we require three ellipses. So we're going to talk about that, talk about that in the video number 